my name is Wolfgang, and I've got a problem with free-for-all, and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys why free-for-all, and specifically free-for-all snipers and trick shotters, are in fact stupid. Now I know it depends on what game I'm actually playing free-for-all on, and what console I'm actually playing on. On the next gen, we already know it's fucking shit. I mean, you guys have heard it all on my channel before, kids are too campy, kids are too sweaty, the DLCs ruin the game, insert David Von Der Haar joke here. Oh fuck, um, uh, he's got, he's got no hair, and he wears glasses. Oh, I don't have a joke right now. But when I play Black Ops 3 on a next-gen console, I know before I walk into that situation, it's gonna be shit. By the end of the day, I'm gonna be eating a shit sandwich. You just know it's gonna be shit before you do it, and you just do it anyway because you're bored. It's like when you click on a scarce video. <laughs> Poor scarce. Your head's fucked, cunt. But Black Ops 3 is not the problem, because I already know the shit levels on the Richter scale are pretty fucking high on that one. I should have said rectum scale. <laughs> Black Ops 2 is the problem because the people on it vary so much. The mentality of the players on that game in Free For All varies so much. So the first person that you see on Black Ops 2 Free For All is the Red Gunner, the Sweater. This person does not bother me at all. All he is doing is playing the game and I'm probably better than him anyway. All he's got to do is rip out my infamous Scar H class with the Afterlife camo and then I'm fucking kids up. All these kids are getting raped. That sounded kind of fucked up, I'm not going to lie. That last part could easily be taken out of context and I'll just end up in jail or something. But that's alright because tune in next week for a nice set up video from inside my cell, inside my jail cell with my roommate, Big Black Barry, we call him BBB for short. He, keep, he keeps me warm at night. So the next type of person we have in Free For All is the Free For All Sniper. The legendary Free For All Sniper. What a fucking, what an awesome cunt. What a fucking dickhead. Now, if it's just a normal Free For All Sniper, he's not bothering anyone, he's not complaining, he's just having fun and sniping. That's all, that's all fucking good to me, bro. All the power to you, cunt. But the kids that piss me off are the ones that snipe, and you don't snipe against them, you red gun. And at the end of the game, they send you a message or they say in game chat, why aren't you sniping, bro? Why don't you snipe, bro? Oh, man. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. This is gonna blow your mind. But I don't fucking want to, cunt! And let me just note, these kids usually have free for all written in their gamer tag. Like, that's fucking pretty badass. They've got the game type that they play in their gamer tag. Like, they're serious cunts. Like, fuck you! My name is Johnny Free For All. I've got the quickest free for all quick scopes in all the lands. And fuck you, man! Change your fucking name before you message me. I can't take you serious, cunt. So, anyway, if you don't meet these fucking nerds' demands and start sniping, do you know what they'll do? They'll start threatening you, saying, if you don't snipe to last, I'm just gonna kill last. I'm not gonna trick shot. Some of them are even worse than that. They don't even send you a message telling you that they're gonna do that. You just sort of gotta figure it out by yourself because this kid's been trick shotting for like the last five games. And all of a sudden he kills last and you're like, hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why he did that. Oh, shit, I just realized I was red gunning that game. They're like some sort of suicidal maniacs who have like a bomb strapped to them and they're like, if you don't meet my demands, I'm just gonna blow this motherfucker. But you know what? Here's the thing, man. Like. I don't give a fuck if you kill last cunt. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't play Call of Duty to go for trick shots. I just play for fun. If you actually really were that guy with a bomb strapped onto him making threats, I'd just be like, fucking blow yourself up already, you fucking pussy. It does not bother me, bro. Your threats mean nothing to me. Like, it's your right to not trick shot and to kill last just as much as it is mine to use a red gun. I don't go around messaging people saying, hey, if you don't use a grenade only in Call of Duty, I'm not going to let you trick shot last. Like, that's fucking delusional, cunt. And the funniest part is, even if your threats did mean something to me, I still beat you the last, cunt. Like, I can get the 29 and go for heaps of trick shots, and by the time you get the 29, I'll just kill anyway. What sort of a threat is that? Like, seriously. But the main reason why these snipers in Free For All do this is because they literally cannot hit clips on people red gunning. Like, that's how sniping's supposed to be, I thought. Like, back in the day, you'd watch a clip and everyone be red gunning on the sniper, and he'd just be fucking them up getting these mad kill feeds. That's what made it good. But you get these nerds in Free Free for all that are like, oh, I can't hit a clip on these people red gunning. I need to make it a sniping lobby ASAP. So because they're free for all snipers and they've got free for all in their name and that's all they ever do, they're naturally going to be better at it than someone who just trick shots or red guns. So if they can manage to talk people into sniping, they'll hit a clip because they're obviously better at sniping and free for all than them. But if the other people aren't sniping, they're not going to hit a clip. Why don't you just get good cunt and try and hit clips on people that are red gunning as well? Stop hitting all your clips in a fucking sniper lobby. There's this one cunt that comes to mind that used to always do this. He was an Australian guy and he made it into like the phase top 100 or top 50 or some shit like that when the RC was out. I forgot what the cunt's name was and I forgot he even existed up until I started making this video. I had to look up his channel, I had to go through all the old phase RC results and shit like that. But I managed to find him and look at the fucking head on this cunt, his name is Gibbs. He used to always pull this shit in free for all. He made it into the phase top 100 or whatever doing this shit. All his clips were in sniper lobbies, it actually kind of fucking pissed me off a little bit. And he was always, always host. Like it must have been so easy for this 
just can't hit clips. And this cunt hasn't uploaded in like a year. All these clips are Black Ops 2. He obviously couldn't hit clips in newer Call of Duties because he was fucking shit because there was no sniper lobbies. And the worst part is, this is still going on on Black Ops 2 to this day. Like, clips mean nothing on this game anymore, dude. No one wants to see your shitty Black Ops 2 quad feeds, bro. Go on the new Call of Duty and try and hit a clip, cunt. I bet you my only pube that you won't be able to. And that's how you know I'm not fucking around, cunt, because I love that one and only pube unconditionally. You don't just put your pube on the line like that if you're not 100% sure of it. Now, as for me red gunning Call of Duty, I just fucking want to do it, cunt. It's fun. I've been sniping in Black Ops 2, and sniping in general on Call of Duty for so fucking long, many years now, cunt, at least since the 80s, it's just boring to me now. I find it more fun to red gun, and that's why I buy video games, is to have fun on them. I remember back when Black Ops 2 was a big thing. Everyone sniped to last, and 29 lobbies were coming out your fucking ass. I remember that cunt River, yes, River that was in my last video. He used to just fucking run around C4 on cunts, and blowing cunts up, and using shotguns. It was fucking glorious. And everyone hated him for it, and I just thought to myself, I respect that cunt, because he's just playing the game how he fucking wants to. And that's what I do now. And if anyone else feels like they have to play a game a certain way because that's how people expect them to, or this whole community of fucking retarded free-for-all snipers expects people to play a game, get fucked man. Just play it how you fucking want. You pay for the thing. Play the game how you want and have fun. And I do snipe still if I feel like doing it, and I red gun if I feel like doing it. But it's funny because these days now when I play Call of Duty, people just like expect me to red gun. So if I red gun, they're just like, oh, that's just Wolfgang, he's just red gunning again. But if anyone else in the lobby does it, they just tear their fucking head off. It's like I've got immunity to it now. So I guess the moral to this story is just play the game how you want to play. Play any game how you want to play, as long as it's fun for you. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, just tell them to get fucked. They're probably just little angry virgins sitting in their room trying to hit clips and try and get into their favorite Call of Duty team. And snipers, just try and hit clips on people that are red gunning. If people are red gunning, just live with it and try and hit a clip on them. Bring the value back to your clips like it used to be. I'm gonna have to wrap the video up here, boys. I wanted to put more in this video, but it's kind of gone too long as is. If you want to see like a part two of this video, why trick shotters are stupid, just leave a like or leave a comment telling me so. I really have a lot to say about trick shotters and free for all as well, so hopefully you guys want to see that. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. Peace.